Misaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi are doing Japan proud at the moment. There's no doubting the achievements of the world number ones. This year alone, the pair have roared to a hat-trick of victories on the MetLife BWF World Super Series Tour, and they were also crowned champions at the Badminton Asia Championships. But Misaki and Ayaka are not alone in flying the Japanese flag in women's doubles. The East Asian nation can also call upon Naoko Fukuman and Karumi Yonao, last year's Total BWF World Championships bronze medal winners, to keep up their ascendancy. Badminton Unlimited caught up with the world number no. 9 duo in Tokyo, Japan recently as they were hard at work on the training courts. We are two very different people when it comes to our personalities, but on the court, we are able to support each other well. This is key to our understanding during matches, so I feel she's got my back. I'm not exactly sure whether we have a certain chemistry between us, but I feel she's easy to play with. Fukuman and Yonao are members of the same badminton club. Saishunkan Seyakusho, and it was there in 2011 that the girls began their partnership. Early successes on the local scene caught the attention of the national selectors, and the pair soon joined the national setup. If you see the difference in our physical height, Miss Yonao is a lot taller than me, so it's better if I'm covering the front court while Miss Yonao covers the back. This combination is very suitable for the doubles game. If we execute it smoothly, I think this strategy will be a weapon to get victories. The Japanese pair started reaping results on the international stage in 2014, claiming titles at the OUE Singapore International Series and the Yonex USA International Challenge. But it was last year that the pair announced themselves on the global scene in a big way. Unseeded at the World Championships held in Jakarta, Fukuman and Yonao beat higher-ranked pairs to finish third, while Japan's top-ranked pair, Matsutomo and Takahashi, crashed out in the early rounds at the prestigious tournament. Fukuman and Yonao's podium finish surprised many, including themselves. I found it unbelievable that we made it to the top three. It was hard to come to terms with the fact that we were among the best at the World Championships. But then again, I think we won because we stuck to our tactic of keeping it solid at both the front and back of the court. So once we kept winning, we continued the same formula. This was the tournament that made me believe we could defeat strong players during the big occasions. Fukuman and Yonao finished an incredible 2015 with a string of positive results, culminating at the Yonex Sunrise Hong Kong Open, where they reached their first ever semi final of a World Super Series event. From virtually unknowns, the pair greeted 2016 perched on the number eight spot in the BWF World Rankings. Keeping the momentum going, the girls made their first World Super Series final earlier this year at the Yonex Sunrise India Open. I was delighted to have reached the final at that time. It felt great. But nevertheless, we couldn't win the title in the end. I feel that maybe a part of our defeat then was down to my lack of mental preparation. I've always had confidence with myself, but it was about the partnership. We needed to find out what went wrong, so it's frustrating. With the Rio Olympics on the horizon, Fukuman and Yonao were now in the reckoning to qualify as Japan's second women's doubles pair after Matsutomo and Takahashi. Regulations allow a maximum of two pairs from each NOC only if both are in the top eight of the race to Rio rankings at the end of the Olympic qualification period in May. In the closing stages of qualification, the girls were ranked just outside in ninth, and the Badminton Asia Championships presented their last opportunity to get precious points for a place to Brazil. The Japanese women raced to the final in unforgettable fashion. They overcame Indonesia's Nitya Krishinda Maheswari and Gracia Poli in a three-game epic semi-final lasting a record two hours and 41 minutes. 
It suddenly didn't feel the match was taking a very long time, even though I was playing in it. The tough conditions were the same for us and the opponents. There was a lot of pressure, and there were expectations for both sides as well. We had our supporters cheering for us back in Kumamoto. Our teammates back home and our colleagues at our club were also hoping that we would win. I felt grateful and didn't want to disappoint them. That was all I could think of then. I didn't think it took such a long time to finish. In the final match, the stakes couldn't be higher. A win would give Fukuman and Yonao the points they desperately needed to climb to eighth in the standings and grab the coveted spot to compete on sport's biggest stage. But the mounting pressure proved too much as the girls went down in straight games to compatriots Matsutomo and Takahashi. With all the weight of expectations from our team and our colleagues back home, I really didn't want to disappoint them. I wanted to make them proud of my achievements. That thought took control of my focus and I lost my concentration. I forgot what I needed to achieve then. It was hard to understand. I think this lack of focus and concentration prevented me from playing my game to the best of my ability. I expressed my intention to reach my goal in front of television cameras. I've always been a person who is honest with my feelings. I had hoped by doing that, it will motivate me to reach my objective. As it turned out, I couldn't do it. It was all empty talk. It will take time for the pair to get over the heartbreak of missing out on the Olympics. However, the crushing experience has taught them valuable lessons in the sport. Honestly, we shouldn't have had to get to that match as a deciding factor. The fact was we didn't have enough wind early in the race. That's just the way it is. I think rather than wanting to win or having to win, I need to focus on how I don't want to lose against the opponents, which is what Miss Fukuman taught me. I need to work on my focus and concentration. I think I can win more if I stick to this winning mentality. Naoko Fukuman and Karumi Yonao may not be heading to Rio, but if the pair can bounce back stronger than before, they'll be a duo on a mission in the next major badminton event.